In previous videos, we've talked a ton about what the best stats are out there to properly analyze a pitcher's performance. I actually claim that FIP, an advanced metric similar to ERA, was the MLB's best stat that you can turn to when analyzing pitchers. But there's actually another stat that takes home that prize, called Sierra. This stat is newer and more accurate than FIP, and even XFIP. Today, we will cover what Sierra is, how it's calculated, and why you should care. Welcome to Simple Saber Metrics, the brains behind baseball's latest data-driven revolution. If this is your first time here, and you want to learn more about the practical applications of baseball's latest technologies and training techniques, join the movement now by clicking the subscribe button down below. To begin with, let's cover what Sierra is. Sierra stands for Skill Interactive Earned Run Average. It is similar to some of the ERA estimate stats we've covered in the past, like FIP and XFIP, in the sense that it uses tons of historical data to eliminate the factors out of a pitcher's control. This gives us a better understanding of how good or bad a pitcher is, without taking into account things like the way the defense plays behind him. I dive deep into why this is so important in the video covering FIP that I did on the channel a few months back, so if you want to hear more about these kinds of stats, definitely check out that one. Links, as always, are in the description down below. So what makes Sierra better than the stats we've talked about before? Well, it takes into account batted ball and play type. And we're not talking about singles, doubles, and triples here. We're talking about ground balls, line drives, fly balls, and pop-ups. Let me explain that a little bit more. Imagine we have a pitcher who has a relatively high XFIP because he doesn't strike out a ton of batters. But if he does generate a lot of soft contact, i.e. pop-ups and grounders, then his Sierra will be lower than his XFIP, because this stat takes into account those batted ball profiles. There are three main things that we can take away from this stat that this stat does better than almost any other stat out there. The first being strikeouts are really good. One, because there is no chance for a hitter to get on, of course. But secondly, because higher strikeout pitchers generate weaker contact and have lower home run rates. It also tells us that walks don't hurt a pitcher who doesn't often walk batters as much as it does to someone who walks a lot of batters because they limit further base runners after that. And finally, measuring a pitcher's effect on balls in play are complicated. More ground balls lead to more hits than fly balls do, but a pitcher with a higher ground ball rate typically makes it easier for those infielders to turn those batted balls into outs. At the end of the day, pitching is complicated, so you need to do everything you can to paint the whole picture of a pitcher's performance, of course, by taking out any influence those fielders' actions have on a pitcher's performance. Speaking of complicated, let's take a look at how you calculate Sierra. Here is the equation behind Sierra. Yeah, you're looking at that right. Now, I recognize that this is intimidating, because it's definitely intimidating to me too. But that's how it can be so accurate. You'll recognize a few points in here, such as strikeouts and walks per plate appearance, but the kicker that makes this stat so valuable is that it takes into account ground balls, fly balls, and pop-ups. Now, I'm sure some of you who watched my video on FIP have been wondering the whole video how I can make the claim that FIP is the best stat and then come back a few videos later claiming to have something better. Well, to reflect on that, let's take a look at our equation for FIP. The reason I told you all and that I still believe to this day that FIP is the best stat for anyone looking at a pitcher's performance is because it is so simple compared to a stat like this. Sierra is more accurate than FIP, but just slightly. And it's up to you if you think doing all the work to input your player's info into Sierra's equation is worth it. Of course, like all of our videos on advanced stats, here is a chart that gives you a good idea on where each athlete may rank using this stat. As you'll note, every year this stat is set to be on pace with what the league average ERA is. So if you have a good feel for ERA already, you'll be able to interpret this stat pretty easily. Some things to note before we wrap things up here. Sierra is park adjusted, meaning that certain parks make it easier for the defense to turn a ball in play into an out, and this stat adjusts for that fact. And secondly, if you're looking at starters and relievers, you can expect about a minus 0.37 difference favoring relievers compared to starters. So, I hinted at it there just a minute ago, but who should use Sierra? As the title mentions, this is the MLB's most accurate stat used to evaluate pitchers' performance, solely based on their performances. 
but after showing you all the formula, I'm sure you've had a similar reaction as I did. If you're at the high school or college level, I'd highly recommend that you stick to FIP or XFIP for that matter. But if you're not, there's some great websites out there such as Fangraphs and BP that will do all of that work for you behind the scenes. So Sierra will work great if you're currently working at any level in the pros or if you're a fan eager to look at the most accurate stat that there is to date. I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed today's video and you'd like to see more simple saber metrics, please subscribe. Click the video on the left for more baseball animations or the video on the right to check out my new vlog. Leave a comment and a like down below to show your support and I will see you next Wednesday with a new baseball animation.